In my opinion, animatronics is one of the coolest intersections between art and electronics. And with free servo animation software out there like Botango, there's never been a better time to play around with animating your own electronic creature. But speaking from my own experience, it can also be really easy to stall out on learning the software because you get so hung up on making your dream robot or monster project right from the get-go. Instead, what I'd recommend for anyone just getting started and eager to dive in right away is to slap together what I call a minimum viable animatronic. No CAD, no 3D printing, nothing more than two cheap servos and maybe a couple of googly eyes if you have some handy. I'll give you two examples. Here we've placed a dab of hot glue between two servos in this orientation. You can undo this with some isopropyl alcohol. The one with the horn facing down acts as a kind of base to pan left and right. The servo with the horns facing you acts as a crude set of eyes. You can use screws here or some googly eyes. It doesn't look like much, but neither does a sock puppet. The magic is in the animation. For a different take on this, closer to a pan tilt mechanism, keep this same base idea, but orient the top servo so that the horn is on the side. Craft a little box head from some cardboard or foam core and hot glue it to the horn. Add in a microcontroller and a servo driver board and boom, you're ready to get started animating in Botango. For more tips like these, check out Maker Update each week on the DigiKey YouTube channel.